Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on house renting system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java ID. You can use any ID of your choice and a swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am just creating an object of records class. Uh, this class is a GUI form. So to create one, you can go over to here in the project package. Click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be created. One dot Java file, which I have named as records and the dot form file for creating and creating the interface. Let's first see the R interface. I have provided the J labels here. These are the J labels and these are the fields with the names house number data, square foot data and location rent BHK respectively. And uh, this is the J button. And over here I have uh, generated a panel, another panel. And uh, first I have uh, put the J scroll pane and then in the J scroll pane, uh, you can add the J table and uh, let's move to the code. This is the file and these fields will be created automatically. Uh, I have created a J frame object and uh, used it in the constructor. This is my constructor and you need to add these code so that the layout, this layout is available whenever you create the object of record class. Okay, so you can set the size with this and uh, pass your J panel over here, which I have named as house panel in the set content pane method. And then simply calling the uh, table data method in the constructor so that the uh, whenever our program runs, the data is updated in the table. Uh, okay, this is my button, J button. Let's uh, create a listener to it. I have already created one, so let's check its functionality. Okay, this is the button. So I am first checking if the fields entered are null, if the user hasn't entered anything. So I am just uh, popping up the message with uh, please fill all the fields to add data and then if the user has entered something then uh, first uh, this line is for the query which I need to inject it and uh, simply making the building the connection with this uh, connection dot driver manager dot get connection passing the location and uh, do mention your uh, database name the root and the password and uh, using the prepared statement to uh, inject the query with this connection dot prepare statement and pass your string which uh, query over here and then setting the uh, values from this variable set int as the first value house number is integer and the second was also integer location is string rent is integer and uh, bhk is string okay so and i am passing the index number first and then passing the value if this is integer then i am passing it first if uh, it's already integer then just uh, passing the name dot get text okay and this is my combo box so combo box dot get selected item and then simply uh, running this method execute update so that our data gets updated in the database and uh, popping up the message item added successfully and then setting all the fields to empty making it empty after pressing the button okay and uh, then if anything goes wrong in this try block then this method will uh, this function will run and uh, the dialog box will appear with the 
error message and then finally uh, updating the database so this is the function table data i am just uh, running this query select all from my table name okay building the connection and uh, passing this statement dot execute query this string over here and storing the data in the result set this is the variable okay so here you need to set the model so that our data gets appear in the table i am using a, a method which i have created on my own as the method in the class dbutils was not available so uh, instead of using this which i have done over here you can use dbutils dot uh, result set to table model method and pass your result set in that it is the same method with same functionality okay and uh, okay let's check how our code works okay this is the interface you can adjust it with the size okay you can add the size over here okay let's check if it's working house number 103 square footage let's say 1500 location um let's say rent is uh, 25000 3bhk add okay it is working i hope you understand the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas